Hello, welcome back to Georgie Bees and Crafts and Stuff. Uh, today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set, a touch of, touch of ink. And this stamp set was given to me by Gainer Boyce for my birthday. I love it, thank you very much Gainer. I've got ink all over it. On this card I'm only using two stamps, I'm using this flower stamp here and thank you so much. I have got a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth, a piece of Rococo Rose uh, cardstock. Now this measures, because I wanted a bigger border, this measures three and five eighths by five and three eighths and as you can see I've gutted the middle out to cut a large oval but you won't see that because we're going to put over a piece of white card at five and a quarter by three and a half and then I've got a different colour this is Rococo Rose um, Oso Ombre uh, paper free from celebration and this one measures uh, five and one eighths by three and three eighths and that goes over the top like that I obviously have my largest oval die here in Rococo Rose and once we've done our stamping we will cut out the second largest oval die and we will cut out our stamp in there. This is such a quick easy card. Inside I oh inside I got a piece of white card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and all I did was a flower on the inside so we need that and that to stamp on and that to cut I've got my Rococo Rose ink and my stamp which isn't on the block properly better and we're going to ink it up and we're just going to place the flower there at the bottom and then we're going to place one here like that there And we've got the words, thank you so much, which we're going to place right beside the flower, like that. And hopefully that will fit all inside there, like that. And that is it. That's all our stamping done. Oh I know what I did. What I did with this, I went round and dipped my card in the ink. Just all around the edges. Just to give it a bit of colour around the edges. Let that dry like that. Close that up. Right, now we need to cut this out. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to... Let's get this right. Like that. Tape it on. And then I have got to cut off 
any overhang because this die only just fits on here. I think I need some new tape. Right, bring in my little machine and cut it out. And there's our rubbish. Away. and this will get glued on top like that so let's glue that on now And that's just like that. But this is going to go up on dimensionals. And one in the middle. That's it. Right, let's put this all together now. A quick, easy card. It takes you longer to cut all the papers out than it does to um, make the card. Right, I'll put this. And then this is going to sit on there, hopefully straight. big white border around the edges. Now the reason behind me inking up the edges of this card, and I don't know if it will catch on camera, but these are different card bases from what I normally use and they're very white but it does my white card is a white grey or a grey white whereas this is a cream white this is uh, Gina K heavy card slot that was in my birthday box I got it from Susanna, a lady who runs our card, who comes to our card classes. And I got that from her and I didn't realise it was so white. As I can't get my card bases. As I'm not allowed out. I think my release date is the... 31st of March. For those of you who don't know, I'm shielding. And Boris Johnson has put me under house <laughs> under house arrest. 
or told me not to leave the house for my health. That's a better way of putting it. Right, I didn't put gems on this one, but I think I will put some gems on them. I've got gems here. Got some little pearls. I have. Oh, let's use these. These are stamping ups. I think these are um oh obviously retired, I think. Right, I'm going to put Three in a row like that and then this one can have these there we are cards for today hope you like them if you do give us a thumbs up please uh, like comment share and subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos i upload which is usually on monday wednesday and friday all i can say is thanks for visiting and i hope to see you again soon